Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Barack Texaco Obama. Here to remind you that George Herbert Walker Bush was a hero. Why do you get to scold American men for being violent to women while you praise George Herbert Walker Bush? I refuse to even uh, dignify that kind of question with an answer. Fault is why. George <laughs> Herbert Walker Bush was the most honorable, gracious, and decent man I ever knew. That's kind of a stretch, even for you. You may be right. I'll turn it down a notch by saying he was more popular than Jesus. Really? No, I'm not knocking Jesus or putting him down. I'm just saying it. I'm not saying he's better or greater or comparing him with Jesus as a person or God as a thing, whatever that is. I just said what I said, and it was just taken wrong, and now there's all this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks like his death really touched you, Barack. Fuck yeah, damn right. I mean, Michelle had to cancel her book tour. You crazy woman, cancel your book tour. That's like half a million down the toilet the first day. What the fuck? <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say about your friend? Uh, yeah. I've got it all here in my thesaurus of gratuitously suck up things politicians think they have to say every time a filthy rich scumbag bites the dust. Fourth edition, annotated. Ready? He left behind a legacy of service that will never be matched. He was a noble public servant. My heart is heavy, yet filled with gratitude. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> but he lied us into the first Gulf War. No, he didn't. That was Donald Trump. George was a testament to the qualities that make this country great. But he pardoned war criminals who could implicate him in the Contra scandal. No, he didn't. That was Trump. <laughs> George committed his life to leaving behind something better. He set a horrible precedent for presidents to override our system of justice. And that's a testament to the qualities that make this country great. It's corrupt. Um, where's page three? Index, index. And, uh, oh, yeah. He led a broad international coalition to expel a dictator from A, Kuwait, B, Panama, C, both. <laughs> He incinerated over 400 civilians in an Iraqi bomb shelter. And just like that bomb shelter, George and Barbara are now two points of eternal light that will never be dimmed. They are stars in the firmament. Wow, this the source is great. <laughs> and that massacre on the highway of death, wasn't that a war crime? George didn't do that. That was Donald Trump. Uh... And it wasn't a massacre. Those folks shouldn't have been hanging around with bad folks. It was us folks finding common ground with other folks. <laughs> we cut off the escape route of those folks and trapped them in the middle of the desert and blew those folks up. <laughs> it was very folksy. War is all about folks compromising and reaching across the trenches to other folks and then burning them alive. <laughs> I'm late for the funeral. Can't wait to sit with the Bush family and pretend like Donald Trump isn't there. It'll be just like my eight years in office. Michelle, bring your backpack because we're going to load up on lozenges. <laughs> Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support. <laughs> <laughs>